Welcome back people. Hope you all enjoyed our last video. If you have not watched it yet, please do check it out. So, in today's episode, we've got 15 scary ghost videos that will leave you in complete paralysis. Stay tuned to the end of the video. And yes, if you don't want to miss our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get notified every time we post a new video. Let's get started. Number 15. In the heart of Phoenix, Arizona, lies the haunted Saddlehorn Bar shown on Scuba Steve on YouTube, a cryptic haven shrouded in macabre tales. A century-old establishment, weathered by time, harbors a grim history of three souls lost within its forsaken walls. Whispers of a spectral apparition, a girl seen on security footage after closing hours, only deepen the chilling mysteries woven into this haunted domain. And a young girl fell to her death. It was so intense. Jimmy Olagas is convinced his security cameras caught that little girl playing at his bar after it was closed for the night. But she died more than 80 years ago. Employees come in, they work, and once something happens, they don't want to work anymore. We wanted to see if we could capture any evidence of paranormal activity or maybe debunk the activity that's been reported. Sonoran Paranormal Investigations brings their high-tech gear to dozens of supposedly haunted places, like Saddlehorn. We'll try to seek out things like this mysterious shadow recorded just a couple of weeks ago. No one can say for sure just what it is, only that it was gone by morning. Employees are also feeling things, too. And we both saw a hand reach up and grab my left shoulder. We both turn around to look, and there's no one there. The hunters cut the lights and sit in silence. Is there someone you are trying to contact? After hours of searching, the lights go back on. I was kind of watching this monitor over my shoulder, and I saw something move and block out the light. Hopefully, we capture whatever that was. Those are the things that are really exciting and, and make us continue to do this. The hunters say it'll take them up to a month to go through all of their evidence. Only then will they say if we were really shut inside with ghosts. Jimmy Olagis, haunted by a spectral touch, unravels the sinister reality through spine-tingling accounts of eerie encounters. Employees, besieged by inexplicable events, flee in terror, leaving behind a bar teeming with unearthly occurrences. The bar's owner, acknowledging the inexplicable, calls in experts to decipher the spectral enigma. Sonoran Paranormal Investigations, armed with cutting-edge equipment, steps into the abyss of the unknown, probing for spectral traces. Their pursuit leads to eerie shadows and phantom hands that defy rationality. Lights flicker and spirits lurk, leaving investigators grappling with inexplicable phenomena. In the dim, silent depths of the bar, ghostly manifestations haunt, gripping the soul with unrelenting fear. Echoes of hands reaching from the beyond, chilling encounters with shadows, and inexplicable movements plague the investigators' quest for truth. The hunters, engulfed in darkness, seek answers that elude the realm of logic. Their chilling pursuit leads to unearthly encounters, leaving the haunted bar's mysteries unsolved. The weight of unexplained events prompts resignations, marking the Saddlehorn Bar as an abyss where the living intersect with the spectral, leaving a chilling legacy of the unexplained. Did you ever have any similar experience? Number 14. In the heart of an unsuspecting city lies a bar, a seemingly ordinary establishment that belies its terrifying secrets. Rocky, Sean, and Josh embarked on a harrowing journey, venturing into this haunted sanctuary, unknowingly walking into an abyss of the paranormal. We're going to be here with you tonight. Can you give me a sign and let me know if you can hear me or see me? Who's down here walking? Who's down here walking? That was loud. Can you knock on something for us? This is Rocky. Who are you? It's right there. See, that's what I heard. Here, walking through the do you hear that? Female? It's okay to come up here with us. We're going to be here all night tonight. Here. 
We're going to be here all night tonight. Walk up here closer to me, please. No. That was loud. Tell us your name. Dude, I am so weirded out right now because it just walked right through there. I don't know if you can even see it, but yeah. My freaking back. That was... Come up here and touch Rocky. Where you at? This bar employees have seen shadows and lights and stuff going off in this area. So we've got an alarm set at the very end of the bar. That way if something comes through here or sits down at one of these bar stools, it'll set that alarm off. There it goes. It'll shut off. It never did that one. And they said it's a new bulb. Is there somebody upstairs? You hear that? Oh, they're talking. Holy sh the noise I heard. Shh. Ask, ask him the question, Sean. How many people's upstairs? How old are you? Whoa. Did you hear that? Go towards the basement. We're going back. <gasps> the f We're going back. <gasps> the f Who was that? Is that thing on? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm coming back. What is going on? Why do you not want me back here? Okay, I'm coming. What was that? Mm -hmm. If you don't want me back here, you gotta say something. Can't see one. Oh! 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 What's that? Dude, something just took off running again. Holy One last chance. If there's any spirits in this apartment. Give us a sign and let us know you're up here. The night unfolded in eerie silence, their voices echoing through the dimly lit corridors as they delved into this malevolent place. There, within the seemingly innocuous bar, whispers of spectral entities and ghostly activities reverberated, teasing the edges of their consciousness. Uh -oh. 
All right. Later. Who are you? Come forward. As the investigation progressed, the trio encountered an unnerving array of inexplicable events. A cacophony of footsteps and haunting voices echoed in the desolate space, chilling the air with their ghostly presence. An aura of fear loomed, with every footfall evoking a sense of dread. In the labyrinthine basement, their anxiety peaked. The ominous sound of pebbles being tossed, footsteps approaching, and eerie voices pierced through the darkness sending shivers down their spines. Shadows danced across the walls, an ominous presence teasing them, its intentions unknown, yet undeniably malevolent. Tensions escalated as the paranormal manifestations intensified. A desperate attempt to communicate with the unknown yielded spine-chilling responses. Their pleas for communication were met with chilling knocks, mysterious noises, and unexplained footsteps, hinting at a presence both restless and disturbed. The bar bore witness to inexplicable events, a set alarm, the feeling of being watched, and unseen entities triggering inexplicable occurrences. The unseen forces toyed with the investigators, evading their grasp while manifesting their ominous presence. In a crescendo of terror, the trio faced a flurry of paranormal encounters, apparitions, haunting noises, and unexplained disturbances. Fear permeated the air as they confronted the unknown each encounter more chilling than the last, sending shivers down their spines. In the end, they departed, leaving behind a haunted domain, their journey marked by unanswered questions and unsettling encounters. Trapped within the walls of a bar where spirits roamed freely, concealing their secrets within the veil of darkness. What do you think is this true, or is it a very carefully crafted hoax? Number 13. An enigmatic figure known as Jack, a collector of haunted items, takes center stage in this chilling narrative. Obsessed with acquiring haunted dolls and mysterious artifacts since childhood, he embarked on a quest to collect these ominous entities, unbeknownst to the perilous fate they would unleash upon him. Jack's tale begins with the procurement of high-end haunted dolls, a decision that would swiftly turn into a haunting nightmare. Hey guys, I'm here again to do another experiment with a clown. Um... Troubles ensued as one of these dolls inflicted a bruise upon him during sleep and exhibited eerie movements, its arms, head, and legs in haunting animation. The narrative swells with mystique as Jack deliberates upon suspects, the haunted clown, Molly, and a ghost child statue. As he scrutinizes these items for potential malevolence, the haunted clown emerges as the prime suspect. There's be back in five minutes.
okay this is the first video I'll be doing another video after this Okay, so whatever it is, it's, it went upstairs. Great. Not too crazy about that. They're very unpredictable. Now, I got a couple of suspects. I got the clown, I have Molly, and then I have another item, which is a ghost child, which uh, I got years ago. but. The ghost child, I don't think it was the ghost child because um, with a ghost child you need to give it a toy, you need to give it food, and then you have to ask it to come out. And I'm not stupid, I'm not going to ask for a ghost child to come out from the statue. So I don't think it's that item. Now, if you look at Molly's hand, it's very tiny. So I don't think it's her. So right now, uh, the clown, Clyde, is the uh, prime suspect right now. And uh, if you look at his hand, compared to my bruise, you notice it's the same size. So, um, yeah, it was definitely him, I'm pretty sure. It's hand size, ominously mirroring the bruise on Jack's arm. A piece of plastic seemingly holds a malevolent power capable of inflicting inexplicable damage. However, the plot thickens further as a chilling familiarity creeps in. Jack experiences an eerie deja vu concerning a house featured in the subsequent video. The irony unfolds as the narrator, known for his invasive but seemingly well-intentioned ventures into properties, juxtaposes his actions against Santa Claus, hinting at the blurred line between benevolence and intrusion in the pursuit of uncovering the supernatural. The ominous tale weaves a web of inexplicable occurrences and escalating terror, casting shadows upon Jack's quest for haunted relics. Unexplained bruises, possessed dolls, and a hauntingly familiar house beckon an unsettling descent into the inexplicable, blurring the boundaries between curiosity and calamity in the realm of the paranormal. Do doll makers need to have a pact with the devil before they get their license or whatever? Number 12. Beneath the enigmatic title, Never Go There, lies a harrowing tale shrouded in terror and a stark warning. The daunting Akira Nataka's house, veiled in obscurity somewhere within Japan, emerges as the ominous focal point of spine-tingling horrors. Encounters within these walls defy the realm of the mundane beckoning cautionary whispers to all who dare venture near.
The house, its owner obscured in nebulous tales akin to a spectral enigma, conceals its dark secrets. An investigator, nameless yet fearless, unravels a nightmarish saga within these walls. His haunting ordeal begins innocuously with the unexpected descent of a statue, foreboding of the ominous events to come. As the night deepens, terror casts its sinister cloak. Locked within an upper room, he confronts a chilling reality. His escape, captured by the unwavering eye of the camera, reveals a spectral silhouette haunting the adjacent room. An apparition woven from darkness, a figure draped in foreboding mystery. The spectral presence, though devoid of clarity, assumes the guise of a shadow figure, a modern interpretation of an ancient terror. Yet, its eerie form defies easy categorization, shrouded in ambiguity and chilling implications. The investigator's dread-filled encounter, etched in the eerie silence of the night, leaves haunting questions lingering in its wake. At the unsettling conclusion, an unexpected surge of emotion, akin to a raging bull, punctuates the harrowing narrative, leaving a lingering unease and an enigmatic conclusion to a tale steeped in terror and inexplicable phenomena. Can you explain what is happening with Akira? Number 11. An ominous saga unfurls as Jibberari on TikTok, an affluent landowner, invites an unsettling presence into her mansion nestled within her farm. The allure of paranormal activity beckons her, but this eerie exploration takes an unexpected turn. Hello? You okay? You okay, buddy? It's real creepy. What's up with the phone lights right now? What's up with my phone? Like with the camera. Hang on. What the 
that light wasn't on. Holy sh! did you see that? What the f is that? It's like white mists running around the room. That's real fucking creepy. Wow. Okay. And he's just out not. A disconcerting trend grips the world, misconceptions about shadows, now twisted into an alarming narrative surpassing the horrors chronicled on this channel. As Jabber traverses towards her home, an unsettling silhouette looms ominously behind her house's window. The house itself seems a conduit for inexplicable events, from flickering lights disrupting her peace to Netflix seemingly observing her. The supernatural intrusion extends to a TV screen morphing into an unwitting vehicle for spectral entities. As Jabber stares at the distorted screen, crimson eyes manifest in a chilling reflection, defying logical explanation. Haunting encounters escalate. The eerie sound of unexplained movements, sinister whispers, and shadowy apparitions pacing within the confines of her dwelling. Chillingly, a doll emerges, distinct from any seen before. Its inexplicable presence stands as a dark omen within the unnerving narrative. Amidst the escalating paranormal phenomena, a sense of helplessness permeates, echoing through the eerie whispers and inexplicable events that defy the laws of the natural world. The atmosphere brims with foreboding as Jabber navigates a nightmarish journey, 
grappling with unexplainable occurrences that defy conventional logic. The gradual escalation of disturbances, be it flickering lights, ghostly reflections, or haunting apparitions, casts a sinister shadow over her once peaceful abode. As Jabber grapples with these unexplained horrors, the lines between reality and the supernatural blur, culminating in a crescendo of terror, leaving an unsettling mark on the very fabric of her existence. How many haunting have Dahl involved in it? Why is the Barbie factory not cursed yet? Number 10. Daredevils Casey and Colton plunge into an abyss of unbridled terror, entering a realm of horror unlike any they've ventured into before. In the heart of a house deemed unfit for habitation, their chilling odyssey unfolds. This sinister abode, made available for rent despite its macabre decor of demonic paintings and eerie accoutrements, stands as a shrine to the dark unknown. I'm gonna go out here. I swear, somebody's out here. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello? Hello? All right, I really don't know where the hell to go. I'm coming, see? I hear that whistle again. There's that whistle again. Whoa. All right, I just came out of here. That was not here. This string was not here. Oh, what the f is that? Did you see that? Did you see that? The door is closed. Hello? Oh man, this is just stupid. Hello? All right, if anybody's there, I'm coming in there. Hello? Hello? Look at that, look at that. That's gotta be from me, throwing the door open, right? Is anybody here? Man, this door is closed. A little. Oh, me, dude. Somebody here? Hello? Hello? I hear it again. I hear whistling. I hear whistle. I hear whistling. I hear whistling. All right, I'm gonna take a second here and just gather myself. I hear whistling again. I think I heard, yeah, I definitely heard that last time we were here. And then, look, the door just closed. The door closed. Hello? around this way because this is scary as Okay, okay, okay. Hello? Hello? Look at this. I don't know what to do, man. I hear you. I hear you. Yes. I hear you. Is Samantha? Okay. All right, this is weird. Okay. Okay. All right, so I keep I keep hearing whistling and it sounded like a girl again speaking to me, but the craziest thing is is I just I hear whistling. But I I just had this calm sense come over me which is it's gonna be very short-lived, I can tell you that much. This is just a bad idea. All right, let's go see what we can get into down here. Or not get into. Hey, listen, I'm a friendly dude. I'm not looking to hurt anybody. I just am here. Recording. This, this is just the craziest room. Oh, man, oh, Jesus. Hello. Hello? Okay. Okay. Somebody's here. I know somebody's here. And I'm cool with it. I'm alright. I'm not here to hurt you. Please don't hurt me. Okay. 
What the fuck is this shit, man? Alright. What the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Alright. Alright. All right. I don't know if you can see it, but that noose, excuse me, excuse my language, is on the front door. When I was inside, I felt like somebody was right next to me the whole time. Even when I ran out to the back. something fell out of the tree okay but out here I feel good oh no I, no I don't 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 who doesn't need better buns whoa Did I bump something? Did I bump something? I bumped something. Okay. All right, let's head back around here. Okay. Hello? Okay. All right. Okay. Listen to this. Listen to this. How much time? 20 minutes. I got 10 more minutes. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. That was me. I had to no. That was not me. Okay. Alright. That was not me. That was Amidst their investigation, Casey and Colton unravel a nightmarish sequence haunted by electronic drainages and unearthly apparitions. The harrowing encounters begin innocuously, discovering a chilling tableau, a hand-painted table bearing a hidden Ouija board surreptitiously camouflaged among macabre artwork. Their macabre journey progresses, with spectral manifestations haunting their every step, floating phantoms, electronic malfunctions, and ghostly faces peering from shadowed corners, each encounter a menacing reminder of the supernatural's grip. Unraveling deeper into the house's ghastly secrets, they bear witness to inexplicable phenomena. Mysterious energy drainages, eerie Polaroid captures, and spine-chilling audio anomalies, each event a crescendo of unearthly energies seeking acknowledgement. As the night descends further into the clutches of horror, their device's aberrations intensify, echoing the malevolent forces within. The atmosphere suffocates with terror, beds resembling faces, chilling encounters with unseen entities, and a silent plea for peace amidst the chaos. Throughout their ordeal of the house's sinister, I wondered if it really is someone's soul, or is there something else more sinister? Number 9. This chilling narrative from Nightmare Fuel on TikTok leads the mind down a twisted path of uncertainty, questioning life's oddities and unsettling encounters. The perplexities begin with mundane, relatable mysteries. A fridge inexplicably empty at dawn, Phone calls met with silence, followed by apologies. A slew of perplexities that cloak the everyday in a shroud of unsettling queries. The setting. Jangan terpengaruh, jangan terpengaruh. Kalian aman. Jangan terpengaruh. Tarik nafas panjang, tahan.
استغفار استغفار اشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان ان محمد رسول الله ارادوا سيدنا يا قول الله انكم فاضل قل لقد صدق بي ساتن بارك الله فيك Tahan. A seemingly ordinary flag-raising ceremony in Baobao, Sulawesi in 2018, disrupted by the unexpected arrival of a mysterious figure, cryptic and foreboding. This figure, dubbed your father in jest, manifested abruptly, transforming the ceremony into an infamous chapter in the attendees' lives. Witness accounts paint a picture of sheer horror, reducing attendees to tears and cries of fear, shattering the serene atmosphere into shards of terror. Amidst the chaos, one woman suffered a mental collapse, teetering on the brink of unconsciousness, gripped by sheer dread. While skeptics might dismiss the terror as part of the event, the raw emotions captured in the footage tell a different tale. The cameraman's trembling voice and fervent prayers while approaching the distressed woman debunk any notion of scripted theatrics, highlighting the genuine horror that gripped the attendees. Screams, cries, and the palpable fear etched on the faces of onlookers paint a canvas of genuine terror. A tableau of unexplainable dread, leaving behind a chilling spectacle and lingering questions in the hearts of those who bore witness. What do you think? Is this a hoax? Or is it the truth? Number 8. This video is from Seas Crazy Crossroads on YouTube. Amidst an unsettling turn of events, a group of policemen forcefully intrudes upon a peculiar location. As the narrative unfolds, questions emerge. Why such brute force? Why disrupt tranquility for the mere collection of taxes and a sip of tea? The unsettling intrusion suggests more sinister motives than the official pretext. Who's down here walking? Who's down here walking? That was loud. Can you knock on something for us? This is Rocky. Who are you? It's right there. See, that's what I heard. Here, walking through the. Do you hear that? Female? It's okay to come up here with us. We're going to be here all night tonight. We're going to be here all night tonight. Walk up here closer to me, please. No. That was loud. Tell us your name. Dude, I am so weirded out right now because it just walked right through there. I don't know if you can even see it, but yeah. My freaking back. That was. Come up here and touch Rocky. Where you at? You hear that? Mm-hmm. Are you back there? Are you back here? Did you hear it? Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> Back over there. Oh, holy sh it took a run. Hmm. 
this bar, employees have seen shadows and lights and stuff going off in this area. So we've got an alarm set at the very end of the bar. That way if something comes through here or sits down at one of these bar stools, it'll set that alarm off. There it goes. Shut off. It never did that one. And they said it's a new ball. Is there somebody upstairs? You hear that? Oh, I'm talking. Holy sh the noise I heard. Shh. Ask, ask him the question, Sean. How many people's upstairs? How old are you? Whoa. Did you hear that? Good towards the basement. We're going back. <gasps> the f We're going back. <gasps> the f Who was that? The thing on? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm coming back. What is going on? Why do you not want me back here? Okay, I'm coming. What was that? Mm -hmm. If you don't want me back here, you gotta say something. Can't see. Oh! 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 What the f was that? Dude, something just took off running again. Holy One last chance. If there's any spirits in this apartment. Give us a sign, let us know you're up here. All right, later. Who are you? Come forward. This house, a disturbing aberration from the norm, defies easy categorization. It emanates an aura that belies its conventional appearance, unsettling the very core of observers. The sequence of events pivots on an odd disturbance, instigated by a lady's relationship fallout, prompting a call to the authorities. Their arrival, initially shrouded in a mundane facade, evolves into a harrowing tale. Within the eerie confines of an abandoned trailer, a dauntless individual embarks on a challenge to remain within the confines for 30 minutes. A nightmarish ordeal unfurls, marked by inexplicable phenomena, anomalous whistling, suspiciously manipulated objects, doors closing without cause, and eerie encounters that defy logical explanation. The visceral tension grips as the challenger grapples with a relentless sense of an unseen presence, manifesting through ominous sounds and disturbing visual cues. An inexplicable sensation of an unseen entity's close proximity adds to the palpable fear, escalating the chilling uncertainty. The unsettling climax arrives as an unnerving noose hangs ominously, 
a stark symbol of terror and impending doom, casting a shadow over the already eerie ambiance. Despite claims of completion, the challenge's authenticity is in question, its completion cut short by the unfathomable horrors lurking within the trailer. The narrative takes an unexpected turn, shifting focus to an affluent figure, Jabber, whose affluent stature masks a curious punchin for unconventional romantic pursuits, adding yet another layer of peculiarity to this already unsettling tale. Why might these souls be roaming around today? Number 7. In the realm of the eerie and uncanny coming from an unknown source, Andrew Tate's haunted house escapades serve as a chilling testament to the inexplicable. Andrew, a self-proclaimed beacon of positivity, confronts the unknown lurking within his abode with unwavering courage. One ominous night, roused from slumber by thunderous knocks assaulting his bedroom door, Andrew didn't cower. Instead, he seized the opportunity to share this eerie encounter, broadcasting the haunting commotion on TikTok, inviting the world into his supernatural saga. Bandita, esta noche es de retas. Fuimos por pilas porque este cabrón que está acá atrás de mí insiste, insiste que me ganen el FIFA. Ya le dije que yo soy el mejor, pero no me hace caso. Va a ser la última reta que voy a echar con él. Porque última reta que voy a echar con él. Porque última reta que voy a echar con él. Porque siempre está que me gane y que me gane y que me gana. Siempre le voy a demostrar. Siempre lo subo. Le In a chilling turn of events, laughter gave way to dread as a spectral shadow materialized on his bathroom TV screen, the shower door ominously swaying. The specter of the unknown teased his senses, leaving viewers unnerved and questioning the legitimacy of these encounters. The mysterious aura intensified with Chris's exploration of Helltown, a place steeped in historical anomalies and shadowy legends. Nestled within the folds of urban myths, this land bore witness to eerie drawings and unsettling enigmas. Chris's trepidatious steps through this eerie domain illuminated the unsettling truths buried within the darkened corridors of Helltown's history. As the investigation unfolded, shadows danced, secrets whispered in the wind, and specters lingered in the periphery, offering glimpses into a world obscured by myths and legends. Each step, a descent into the unknown, blurring the line between reality and the spectral realm. What happened here, according to you? Number six. A bone-chilling tale unravels within the confines of a hotel, built in 1916 by a triumvirate of women, mystically intertwined in the hotel's history. As these enigmatic proprietresses passed, whispers of eerie occurrences echoed through its halls. Guests, unnerved, recounted sightings of shadowy figures, objects in motion, and spine-tingling paranormal phenomena. The fan and the light are both plugged in behind the bed, and they're connected. So that shuts them both off. You hear the fan shut off? That's the AC in the background, but... So that one switch turns them both on and off. And the fan by itself is turned off, I want to say, uh, maybe two times, two or three times. The bathroom door over there, closed. Now, I don't mean a little bit. I mean, it's... I'm going to come back, set some cameras up, and do whatever I... Battery's about to go low. And then do whatever I can to get it... It's closing right now, guys. It just moved a little bit. I'm telling you, it just... See? You see that? No one in here with me, completely alone. Hello? There is no one here, guys. I'm using the front face of the camera, so it's, it's kind of hard to see. But you can see. Watch. Watch. See, it's 
to watch. It doesn't close by itself. The second or third. I can't remember if it did it once or twice why, uh, before I started on or, or what. But I, it's been doing it a lot and I don't get it. Because I try doing it by hand. And... I got goosebumps. It closed all the way. It closed and latched, guys. It closed and latched. It did it once or twice. Twice, did it two times. So I'm gonna put my stuff on the charger and then I'm gonna go. I should leave something rolling while I'm in here, but everything's gotta charge. You think you can close that one, one more time for me? You think one more time you could close the door? And then I'll leave you alone. Then I'll, I'll leave and I'll, I'll leave this room for a little while. I won't come back if you close that door one more time. Didn't close all the way this time. I'm back in my room. It's pretty late. Um, when I left, the bathroom door was open. It's closed. I already went in there and checked everything. I actually went to the restroom. I'm leaving it closed. I've had enough of that thing closing on me. So I'm gonna leave it closed. It's it's latched, so it does not push open. So we're gonna see if that opens. I don't think it could. That'd be a heck of a lot. I don't know if anything's gonna happen. So if you're watching this, that means something might have happened. I don't see myself doing a whole video of uh, me sleeping. That'd be a little boring. Turn the fan on high. Strangely, spectral manifestations weren't limited to inexplicable movements. Guests swore they saw apparitions eerily resembling the three women in the hotel's portraits. However, the arrival of a malevolent male figure puzzled all. 
an unwelcome entity intruding upon the feminine legacy, blurring the lines between the hotel's past and an unsettling present. Amidst this spectral symphony, tragedy struck. A life lost within the hotel's walls deepened the mystique, beckoning an intrepid investigator to uncover the truth. Inside this haunted room, ordinary objects became harbingers of terror, the bathroom door incessantly closing, the fan behaving erratically, and the bed itself trembling, amplifying the horror within these walls. The investigator's chilling encounter unfolded as the fan and lights inexplicably turned on and off. The bathroom door closed repeatedly, and the investigator beseeched the unseen entity for another sign. The room seemed a malevolent player, orchestrating sinister actions as the investigator pleaded for one final demonstration. A request met with an eerie, unexplained closure of the door. Returning to the room, the investigator found the bathroom door shut, unnervingly, though they had left it open. Despite skepticism, the investigator documented the escalating unease, a vigilant vigil kept under the hotel's watchful, enigmatic gaze. This haunting footage, though possibly shared previously, remains a haunting enigma, a glimpse into a realm where ordinary objects harbor ominous intent, shadows hold silent secrets, and the unseen dances between the realms of plausibility and the unknown. What do you know about this place's history? Number 5. Amidst the calm of a serene night from the TikTok channel Nurse Vito, Mike's aspirations and future dreams crumbled into a haunting reality. His thoughts wandered through the corridors of what could have been, haunted by the bitter echoes of lost love, failed ambitions, and a life veiled in the darkness of unfulfilled promises. Minyak okay, sip, ready. Full uh, minyak. Kita OTW. In the dead of night, as Mike ventured near an ambulance, a sense of foreboding enveloped him. The air hung heavy with the weight of his shattered dreams, an eerie premonition lurking in the shadows. What began as a moment of contemplation swiftly descended into a nightmarish ordeal. As he inspected the ambulance, an otherworldly force, unseen and unnerving, disrupted the tranquility. The chilling honk of the vehicle, devoid of any living presence, shattered the silence. In an instant, the stretcher, as if possessed by a malevolent entity, moved of its own accord, a sinister dance orchestrated by forces beyond comprehension. Mike's world shattered, his reality twisted by this unexpected and spine-tingling paranormal occurrence. Fear seized him, a visceral sensation that crawled down his spine, leaving him perched on the edge of terror. The ambiance of the ambulance, once perceived as inviting, turned into a chilling reminder of the unknown. What initially appeared to be an innocuous vehicle now bore the unsettling aura of the supernatural, casting shadows upon his thoughts and planting seeds of dread within his mind. The once pristine and seemingly ordinary ambulance now stood as a gateway to an unsettling realm, its cleanliness a facade masking an eerie presence that lingered, forever altering Mike's perception of the familiar and casting a shadow of doubt over the mundane. What might be trying to disturb the peace of this location? Number 4. In the quest to unravel the mysterious occurrences shrouding an unfinished and abandoned house, 7 New SPK on YouTube embarked on a spine-chilling investigation, peeling back the layers of an unsettling saga. Oh, what are you doing? 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 
استغفر الله استغفر استغفر الله لا حول استغفر الله لا حول ولا قوه الا بالله السلام يا حفيظ कुछ आवाजें आ रही कुछ आवाजें आ रही इधर आ ली इधर ये दरवाजा नॉक हुआ था استغفر الله لا حول ولا قوه الا بالله يا حفيظ استغفر الله अली दर भी कुछ है कोई है इधर तुम्हें आवाज नहीं आई सर इधर आए पुस्तक फॉर अली वो पुस्तक फॉर वो कोई है अंदर यार अली मैं कुंडी पहले खोल रहा था नाजिन कुछ आवाजें आ रही हैं अंदर से कौन ओ, तेरी खैर कौन कौन है अल्लाह अकबर ये रिकॉर्ड कर भाई दोबारा कर सकते हो अल्लाह कोई है अंदर हमें अंदर आने की इजाजत दीजिए हमें अंदर आने की इजाजत दीजिए ये कैसी आवाजें हैं अली इधर कैमरा लाओ जल्दी कैमरा लाओ जल्दी हो जल्दी आ जल्दी इधर है लाइट अली इधर आना कोई है कोई है कोई है कोई है ये देखे 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 कुछ चीज के लिए कौन है उस वो क्या है सामने जैसे बिल्ली है, है? ये, ये चीज कोई गिरी है लाफक पर कौन है चाहते क्या हो क्यों हो इधर इन फैमिली को क्यों नहीं रहने दे रहे क्या हम तुम्हारी कोई मदद कर सकते हैं कोई चीज़ चाहिए तुम्हें कोई निशानी दे सकते हो ओ मेरे अल्लाह इस तरह हमें डराओ मत ये ऊपर वो लॉक फक पर अली थोड़ा सा जल्दी मूव 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 आओ आ जाओ लाहौल वाला कुत कौन है यार एक एक चीज इधर है कैन यू बिलीव इट के उतर के कैमरा कोई कुछ जैसे मुझे लाहौल वाला कुआत दोबारा अपने होने का निशानी दे सकते हो ये देख रहे हैं ओ तेरी खैर लॉफ अकबर लॉफ ये क्या गिरा है ये इधर आई अली ये देख यार ये आप देख सकते हैं कौन है यहाँ पे बगैर नुकसान पर चाहे अपने होने का साज लाए कौन है सामने आ सकते हो जिस तरह नीचे आए हो हम यहां से नहीं जा रहे ऐसे दोबारा कुछ करो अली अटेंटिव रहने बिल्कुल ये माय गॉड हमें इन चीजों से ना डरा ना डराओ ये पाओ के निशान कैसे हैं देखो ये अजीब बहुत से गरीब से जैसे नींद आया हमारे पास एक्टिव है चीज़ उधर करें ये लो हम दोबारा खेलते हैं इस गेंद से खेलना चाहते हो ना जन्नात के बच्चे हो छलेडे हो ये लो 
फेंको यहां पे गेंद मेरे पास बस इतना सा कुछ जोर से फेंकते ना तकफार विप तो हेल वो गेंद इतनी स्पीड से आई है पीछे कर कैमरा पीछे कर अली इधर तो हॉल वाला कुत है वो बिल्कुल मेरे पास ही गई जैसे वो चीज दिए देखो कोई है यहाँ पे हम तुमसे ये मैंने तुम्हें कहा था ना मोमेंट हुई है ये माय गॉड हमें आई जरा बाहर पर वो वो सामने सब सामने पर वो वो सामने सब सामने सामने कौन है इधर अली जल्दी आ जल्दी 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 कोई था इधर ला माफ करे फार वो मेरे अल्लाह अली खुदा का नाम है यार सबसे पहले हम ये किचन वाली साइड पे चलते हैं इधर पर ओ जैसे कोई एंटर हुआ है जैसे कोई एंटर हुआ है The foreboding tale began with the unsettling history of the desolate dwelling a place marked by an abrupt halt in construction leaving the edifice incomplete once a hopeful abode it fell prey to a haunting force an unseen specter that drove its would-be inhabitants away consumed by fear as the team delved into the eerie depths of the forsaken residence the atmosphere thickened with apprehension a potent mix of curiosity and dread what awaited them within those desolate walls the answer unfolded amidst an ominous symphony of unexplained phenomena doors echoed with thunderous knocks rattling with an otherworldly force balls once mere playthings took flight through the air propelled by an unseen hand shadows danced and curtains swayed in a ghastly choreography orchestrated by an invisible malevolence in the dimly lit confines the investigators strained their senses seeking glimpses of an elusive presence faint figures flickered in the shadows spectral apparitions lingering just beyond the edge of sight evading definitive capture the air vibrated with an unnerving tension an ominous aura that transcended the mundane despite their efforts the spectral entity remained elusive shrouded in darkness teasing their perceptions an enigmatic force refusing to yield to the probing gaze of the investigators their vision strained squinting into the abyss hoping to discern the unearthly being lurking within but it eluded their grasp a haunting phantom slipping away into the night leaving the team with more questions than answers the encounter's eerie aftermath left them in a state of bewildered contemplation grappling with the uncanny and the inexplicable a chilling testament to the haunting mysteries that persist hidden within the shadows of the unknown is this a real proof of paranormal caught in 4k number 3 In the eerie shadows of Cleveland, Ohio, lays the enigmatic Holton Avenue, a forsaken street concealing dark secrets, uncharted even by the astute. The veil of mystery cloaks this desolate thoroughfare, teasing curious minds with its abandonment and ominous silence. Legend, as narrated by Ubrex Hell, on his YouTube channel, speaks of its haunting past, a story rooted in the construction of a church back in 1913.
swore I heard something. open now. It wasn't like that last time. I don't know if I'm gonna go down there. There's like running water down there. This is sketchy. This cannot be safe. Find a body down here. It actually looks like it's just underneath the house. It's not really a basement. Still creeping. Sorry. I didn't know nobody lived there. It smelled like piss. I knew somebody was in there. There's somebody living in there. Once adorned with quaint houses and amiable neighbors, this once thriving street transformed into a desolate wasteland, a place where dreams dissolved into decay. The macabre tale deepened with the discovery of a young woman's body casting a sinister pall over the forsaken road. Enter Chris, the intrepid investigator seeking answers within the forsaken church and one of the dilapidated houses, his keen eye and steady resolve poised to unravel the mysteries that dwell within. As he explored the desolate church, an uncanny shift unfurled. Glass bottles stirred, their movements eerie echoes amidst the stillness, teasing secrets yet to be unveiled. The true horror, however, unfolded within the abandoned house, where Chris's steady cameras bore witness to chilling phenomena. A door, defying logic, slammed shut on its own accord. A haunting silhouette, a mere semblance in the darkness, ominously traversed the room's shadows, a spine-tingling encounter that forced Chris to flee, unnerved by the ominous presence lurking behind a veiled curtain. Nightfall descended, cloaking the decrepit landscape in an eerie ambiance. A descent into the unknown ensued, fraught with ominous signs, a door mysteriously ajar, cryptic sounds akin to running water echoing from below. The foreboding scent of decay permeated the air, 
hinting at a clandestine resident occupying the forsaken house. Amidst the encroaching darkness, an unsettling revelation, an illuminated upstairs, a spectral light in the desolation, suggesting an unwelcome inhabitant. A discovery that prompted speculation, prompting a shiver-inducing choice between two evils, the house devoid of soul or its malevolent, possibly inhabited neighbor. This could have been a great movie, if not for lack of dolls. What do you think? Number two. A tale of the haunted river of North Georgia unraveled a chilling narrative which has been documented by Experiencias Paranormal 5 on TikTok. Three young individuals embarked on an ill-fated journey seeking adventure along the river's edge. Their seemingly ordinary trip, captured on camera, took a dark turn as night descended and a sense of foreboding enveloped them. Stopping by a gas station for provisions, they encountered an unexpected acquaintance named Stacy, sparking an air of mystery around their late-night excursion. Go ahead on up there uh, to that uh, Amicola. They call it uh, the Jugul Black River and Navajo, but there's no Navajos around here, and the Cherokees, they call it the Amicola. So that's kind of the name that we go with around here. And these parts. Yep. Well, let's take shit. So um, I guess we're gonna go, we're gonna go stop. We're gonna go, uh, our poor ass, we got some change. we go buy some beer. A little bit of gas, cancer sticker 10, and uh, I don't know, we'll see you later. Well, we just got done paying with change, and uh, you went to high school with that girl. Yeah, I was like, what? You. Yeah, she was like, that's because we went to school together. And I was like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Should be like, so how's college? Uh, you get a degree in, uh... Is that me I'm looking at when I look at the thing? Yeah. So what are we gonna do? Who we could holler at. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, we don't we don't know what we're gonna do. Dude, I'm about to drive around here and find some where we can go. Where it doesn't have any posted signs, where it's just off the beaten path. But there is nowhere around here like that. I just passed probably like 12 different little cutaways on the way up here. Do I, do I, I mean, I'd rather get in trouble for camping somewhere not allowed to than camping somewhere not allowed to and trespassing. You get shot for trespassing. You have a sign that says that first one. Do you feel a spot right over here? Is there? Yeah. I don't know though, I kind of want to hike a little further back though. Cool. I brought some uh, fire starter. Um, that trail starts to head up that mountain, right up that way, so we can either set it here, hike up the mountain see for a minute, and there. see if we got anything worthwhile, huh? That's right. it. I got the back of Dude, they're gonna watch this and they're gonna be like, it's the three of us. And be like, wow, this is horrible. They're staying real close to each other. So we've got a camera and they'll be on YouTube. People are sitting there like, hey, mom. <laughs> we should probably pack it up again. <laughs> right now. You come home, you're gonna die. <laughs> Guys, to a night. Filled with change. Filled with unexpected adventures. Filled with last minute decisions and not many and regrets. And last second pleasures. Yeah. We'll be saved phone for our return. To so light it up, get us warm, bring us back in the zone. If going camping that one time was camping with the Dugan. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Ow! Was that hurt? <laughs> what the fuck? Let's head back to the homestead. <sighs> homestead sounds good. Smoke a bowl by the homestead. White rabbits, they follow me everywhere I go. They are mad as hell. Oh, please. That is freak. Yeah. That just freak my. Did <laughs> <laughs> you see that dude? It's about to. Hey! I enjoyed this Yeah, like
Settling in for camping by the river, the tranquility of the night was shattered by spine-chilling sounds, dogs barking, people screaming, ominous signals that something sinister loomed. Their Sony Handycam captured their laughter and casual banter, only to descend into haunting uncertainty. The camera recorded their trepidation and a sense of impending doom as they grappled with an unexplained terror lurking in the darkness. As they ventured deeper into the night, their sense of unease grew palpable, culminating in spine-chilling experiences that hinted at unseen horrors. The journey that began as an adventure ended in a harrowing mystery, shrouded in the eerie silence of the night and the unexplained disappearance of the three individuals, leaving behind an unsettling enigma that lingered by the haunted river's edge. What is your opinion of this? Number 1. Nestled within the eerie confines of a desolate neighborhood, Adventure Jassim on TikTok found himself embroiled in a spine-chilling investigation that surpassed all expectations. Amidst the dilapidated remains of forsaken houses lay a treasure trove of otherworldly occurrences, shrouded in mystery and steeped in fear. As Jazim ventured into this ghostly realm of abandoned dwellings, a foreboding atmosphere enveloped him, setting the stage for a chilling series of events. <laughs> لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم من الحمد والغليب يا جماعة الخير والله من جد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا إله إلا الله أعود بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله بسم الله بسم الله لا إله إلا الله أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر لا إله إلا الله والله العظيم يا جماعة أن هذا كله تشلدخ كله طاح لا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله بسم الله لا إله إلا الله لا 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 بسم الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق لا 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 يا جماعة لا 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 أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق حصنت نفسي بلا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا 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 الوضع مو طبيعي يا جماعة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله بسم الله ولا إله إلا الله بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا 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 يا جماعة الخير هذا الباغ هذا آخر بيت بسم الله هذا في بلق 
والله العظيم في بلاء بسم الله سمعتوا الصوت يا جماعة اللجة من هني في حد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله لا اله الا الله بسم الله لا 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 اله الا الله لا اله الا الله لا اله الا الله بسم الله لا اله الا الله اعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق A haunting symphony of paranormal activity unfolded before his very eyes painting a sinister portrait of a place plagued by unseen entities The macabre overture began with a stark message delivered as a fallen bucket directed Jazim to a house's foreboding entrance. Inside, the decrepit structure seemed to come alive, its ceilings crumbling and doors ominously moving of their own accord. The kitchen became a theater of the supernatural as unseen forces hurled objects and manipulated furniture, transcending mere paranormal occurrences. Cabinets opened and closed autonomously, while chairs shifted and entire shelves crashed to the ground an onslaught of eerie phenomena that defied explanation. In the midst of this malevolent theater, Jazim's nerves were stretched to their limits, an onslaught of supernatural activity overwhelming his senses. Every corner held new horrors. Closets shook violently, doors creaked, and buckets ominously dropped, painting a chilling mosaic of fear and dread. A relentless barrage of unearthly encounters reached an apex, leaving Jam grappling with an uncanny reality. Even after departing the accursed locale, the echoes of that haunting experience lingered, as if the otherworldly forces had woven their malevolent threads into the very fabric of his existence, a chilling reminder that some encounters with the supernatural never truly end. What kind of ghost likes to be in the kitchen? Seems like a perfect wife material. What do you think? And that is going to wrap it up for today, you guys. I hope you liked the video. Share your thoughts in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so and hit the notification bell. This has been The Hunter and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, keep it creepy.